Look at all this mud. It's your boy DJ Bolet, aka Life with Bolets in the wheelchair. So I'm finna call my landlord, let him know about all this mud. They took out these tracks, but they left all the mud here. And my car is supposed to be parked right here. I had to move my car. And yesterday I had to wash my tires on my wheelchair because all this mud was on my tires. So got mud down there. This mud got to go. My car pile way back there. All that water. So we gotta get something done about it. I don't know what they're gonna do, but I'm definitely finna call their phone right now. Once again, I called them yesterday. They said it was gonna power wash this morning. It is 10 minutes to 11, and ain't nobody power wash nothing. So I'm gonna call them and see what's going on. I'll let y'all know what happened. Peace. Okay, 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 I'm back. It's your boy DJ Bowleg, AK, Life with Bowlegs in a wheelchair. How y'all like my shirt? Yeah, y'all see it. Y'all see my man SpongeBob. And he got on the Jordans, y'all see it. He got on them number 11s. Yes, sir, he got the number 11 on. And guess what I got on my feet? Number 11, same one, same one. Yes, sir. Yeah, but um, I'm coming back. Look, I showed y'all what happened this morning. You know what I'm saying? With all the mud. So. I got down, I called the leasing agent, I called the uh, management company, and I called the maintenance guy. And I gave all three of them a piece of my mind. Look, I've been putting up with shit, cause they've been bullshitting like the wooden flows, the wall, the water came down through the ceiling from the third floor, cause the lady fucked up on the third floor. But that what they gotta do with my ceiling. Y'all got to fix my ceiling. Then it got mold in the, uh, in the laundry room from that water that came down. Then the floor, the water went everywhere. I mean, everywhere. So I got wooden floors in my kitchen. So now the wooden floor got a buckle in the middle of the floor and it got a buckle going down through the hallway. It went from all the way in the kitchen to the hallway. So it got a buckle there. Ain't nobody came out to fix shit. So look, I'm like this here, man. Somebody got to do something pretty soon and man with all that copyright somebody got to do something man you know what I mean? y'all just can't keep taking my money every month and then y'all don't want to fix the shit that's been fucked up for some months now the you know now when the sink messed up or something wrong with the toilet or some tile they come fix that right away i, I have no gripe with that but come on man i've been waiting all this time for y'all to do this man you know so they called me back yeah i got a phone call back Look, and they told me we park my car in another position and uh, in another spot. And when we park my car, they're going to clean up around there and they're going to wash it all down. I'm like, okay, cool. All they had to do is shovel up all the dirt and throw it in the garbage can. You know what I'm saying? Why would y'all got them uh, uh, empty the sewage out of under the goddamn uh, 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 elevator? Why would you empty the sewage and the nasty water out and put it right in front of my goddamn car? Now I got the road through this shit. You know what I'm saying? That, that wasn't even cool, man. You know what I'm saying? And, it's, and let me tell you this. Three cars down from me, it's a big-ass manhole right there, sewage. They could have ran that shit straight to the manhole to the sewage. They had to put that, dump that shit in front of my car. You know what I'm saying? And now I got to roll through sewage with my wheelchair. That shit ain't right. That shit ain't cool. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? I learned something in life. If you stand for something or you'll fall for anything. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and my building is a nice building, man. You know what I'm saying? But you can't just treat a motherfucker because we in a nice building and we paying this high-ass rent, which I don't have no problem paying my rent. My problem is when you don't come take care of your business. Cause I love I love my joint. I got all the minutes. It's a motherfucking, I'm renting a, uh, a condo. So, you know, condos got everything. Washer, dryer, stove, refrigerator, dishwasher, ice maker. It got everything. I got two balconies, two jacuzzi tubs. It got everything. God bless me with a place that I can be in. And, I, and I'm grateful. I'm very, very, very grateful. But what part I don't like is when I uh, can, if I can suffer 
or do without the elevator for two, three days. And uh, I, I'm, I make that mission to not complain about that. Then y'all need to come on and take care of this, this business that I've been asking y'all to take care of. Because when the elevator go down, I'm stuck in the crib. You know what I'm saying? I can't get down those stairs. There's a whole lot of goddamn stairs. Even if I scoot down, it's going to take about 40 minutes for me to scoot down all them stairs. So, you know, I can sacrifice staying and not going outside and staying my ass in the house. Y'all can sacrifice and get somebody over there to clean up and help a brother out. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't asking for nothing no more than uh, uh, I should get. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not asking for no more, no less. You know, I just want my just do. That's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? DJ Boleg ain't a hard person to work with. I'm easy to work with. I'm easy like Sunday morning. You know what I'm talking about? I'm easy like that, man. I ain't, I ain't no hard person to get along with. You know what I'm saying? So, they called me and told me they're going to take care of business and blah, blah, blah. So, I'm going to leave it at that. I got to trust their word that they're going to do what they say they're going to do. And hopefully, they get it done. You know what I mean? That way, I ain't got to be rolling through no goddamn sewage putting it in my car when I break my chair down and taking it in my motherfucking house. No. You know what I'm saying? So when I go in, I'm going to have to go around and go through the other entrance. So I don't have to worry about going through none of that uh, uh, sewage stuff. You know what I mean? And then I got to get, I had got my uh, wheelchair somewhat wiped down, but I'm going to get it all the way wiped down Saturday. They going to they don't use the uh, high pressure washer and wash the whole thing down. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. We're going to get it right. We're going to get it right, baby. We're going to get it right. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget, this Sunday is Thunder Jam. So uh, if you got a nice car, or if you don't got a nice car, you just want to come see some nice cars, and you want to see some nice whips, come to Stunner Jam. Stunner Jam is going to be uh, out in Chicago Heights on 202 South Halsted. 202 South Halsted at the college. Uh, name of the college is... Oh, no, let me get the line now. No, let me get the line. Uh, Prairie State. Prairie, St Prairie, Prairie State College. That's the name of it. So, I'm going to see y'all on Sunday, man, at Prairie State College so we can uh, check out this Thunder Jam. This, you know, it's going to be the, one of the last car shows for the year. You know what I mean? I think that's the last one. Uh, and my man, Reese, Thunder Reese, doing it. He's throwing it. So, we're going to give out 100 trophies. It's going to be nice, man. We're going to... We're going to do some things out there, all right? So, just wanted to tell y'all about that and everything. That's where I'll be at, you know what I mean, this Sunday. So, uh, if you're not doing nothing, you want to have a good time. And it's supposed to be nice Sunday. It's supposed to be warm. Nice and hot Sunday. Come on out. It's going to be nice outside. Might well enjoy these last hot days while we can. You know what I mean? I'm going to try to take my tent out there so that I, if, if there's sun too much, I just get up under uh, my tent and chill. Uh-huh. Yep. All right. Well, that's enough talking, y'all. I'm going to come back to y'all when I get to the building so I can show y'all what's going on down there. All right. Peace.